this week, I'm moving. there's tires. Yeah! Balls. You gotta push harder than that! And a series of nasty balls. This is the Adrenaline Project. Competitors compete at base camp under the guidance of Boomer. Only three will move on from there to the final secret challenge where they'll meet me and then compete for the title of Ultimate Adrenaline and everything that goes with that. My name's Cass. The Adrenaline Project's mine. And if you meet me, playtime's over. My name is David and I'm 16 years old. My favorite sport would have to be Frisbee. My name is Madeline and I'm 16 years old. I've prepared for the show by training and getting into the right kind of mindset. I'm Angus, I'm 14 years old. I'm the youngest one here, but I don't think that matters. It's not about age, it's about willpower going for it. My name's Kristen, I'm 16 years old and my friends call me Chrissy. I prepared for the show by training every day at my school, with my hockey team and at home by myself. My name is Alex and I'm 16 years old. I prepare for the show by doing stretching and cardio. So, you're Kaz's next group of Adrenalites. Welcome to my house. This is your new home and I'm the head of your household. I say it, you do it. Three of you will move on from here, but in the end, there'll only be one winner. It's gonna be me. You gotta ask yourselves a question about the people you stand next to. Will you kick their butt, or will you let them kick yours? Now I'm here to train you for your final extreme event, but whether you succeed or not is up to you. I like to start my day with a 50 mile run, and guess what? So do you. Follow me. I would say my biggest competition is Kristen because she's so driven and she has the most athletic experience. Where'd you train for this show, the coach? I'm not as much afraid of Kristen as I am intimidated sometimes, but I think if I focus on what I'm trying to do, I'll be fine. I think Alex will be my biggest challenge just because he knows what he's doing and he's trained for it. With the running and the push-ups and everything we've done so far, I'm 100% sure I can win. Did you come here to win or did you come here to whine, boy? I came here to win. Good! I think my competition is pretty good. I think I could take them. This is cargo. It's designed to be difficult, because that's the way I like it. What I want you to do is start on this tire swing. Work your way over to the other side. In the middle point, I want you to grab that orange ring, transfer tires, and keep going until you reach the other side. Once you get there, put the ring over the pylon, at which point time will be stopped. If you happen to fall in the water, and I guarantee one of you will, guess what? You got to do it all over again. This is a timed event. Oh my God. The person with the best time gets to choose who goes first in the next challenge. The person with the worst time, they're going home. Yeah, what do you think about that? It's That's intense. So good. You guys understand what's going on? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's choose straws. Hope you have fun. Oh. My competition, a couple I'm pretty sure I can beat. I think I'm doing in the mid range, I'll, I, but I'm gonna step it up once I get going. Go! I was focused on staying on. Once I transferred, I w it was really, it was more wobbly than the first one, so uh, I had to stay on. You think that kid was half monkey the way he operates that tire swing? Let's go! <laughs> Going first, you don't get to see everybody, look at what they do, see how to do it better. And I was kind of nervous. Go! He 
was doing the event, I wasn't really thinking. I was out of the zone, I couldn't hear anyone. It was just me, it felt like I was on there for like an hour. Come on, that water wants ya! Come on, let's use those arms! I think I'm gonna fall, I'll laugh. Alex's time is the time to beat! You ready? Yeah. Go! Nice! Let's go! Good work! Nice transfer, keep, yeah, there we go. Come on, let's pull. Look at you, Iron Man! Yeah! There we go. Good job! Woo! I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. It was just a little bit easy, so I was kind of grateful in a way. Work. Let's keep moving. I'm moving. Good transfer. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Oh! oh. Come on. If we were giving out points for belly flops. You'd be in the lead. When he said go, I didn't really know how to act, and I just went for it. I think the hardest part for me was transferring from one to another. You learn a lot doing it the second time. How's the water? There you go, let's transfer it you up. You got it, this go. time. You got it. Come on, you're right at oh, the beach. Come on. Come on. Jump off, you can get over there. Do it. Oh, oh. That, that's good enough. Guys, I have to do good. Or... Just don't fall and we win. I didn't think it would be this hard. I thought it would be slightly easy but I was wrong. Dave's time's the new time to beat, and Kristen is the slowest. If you don't beat Kristen, you're going home. You ready? Yeah. Let's go! Good work, good work! Unclip it and get that transfer done. Stay away from that water, let's pull, let's use those biceps. Come on, let's go! There's the land. By watching everyone go first, I learned some good strategies, like putting the frisbee in my mouth I thought was a really good idea. I picked that up from David, and I think it worked for me. That was so scary. I thought that Madeline or Angus was gonna go home first. Not to be mean to them, but I'm so surprised. All right, here are your scores. In first place, with 30 seconds, David. In second place, 46 seconds, Madeline. In third place, with 54 seconds, Alex. In fourth place, with a minute and three seconds, Angus. Kristen, your time was two minutes and 12 seconds. You did a good job. But unfortunately, good wasn't enough. There you go. I feel about being the first one, I'm upset about it, but it's something I have to accept. Like, I'll learn from what I did wrong. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. I feel really surprised right now because Kristen left, and she was our biggest threat. And seeing her leave just made me think that everything's possible. All right, the rest of you, let's go. We're going to jog now. The day's not over yet. Cargo gave us our first elimination. One more to go before they meet me for the final event. My strategy going into the next event, I think I need to think the event through more. Last one, I just ran into it because Dave and Madeline had a chance to see what they were doing and they thought of a strategy. Come on, put your hands up. Get your leg up there. My biggest competition is Angus because he feels really confident right now and we all feel that he's a threat to us. I want Angus to go home. I hope you're watching because this is gonna be funny. Each of you will be wearing a chest harness like this. And you'll have a bungee cord attached to your back. Now see those colored balls? Each one of those colored balls represents a different point. 
Yellow ones are one point, red ones are five points, and blue ones are 10 points. The first person to get all their balls into their basket wins. At that time, we're gonna count everybody else's balls in their basket. The person with the least amount of points is walking home. I cannot wait to watch you guys do this event. I think this is very important. This is the performance before the final three is picked. And I really need to step up to the plate and I, I'm gonna do it. I'm not worried. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Three, two, one, go! Fantastic. When I knew I won, I was so happy. I think everyone just turned around and was shocked. Nobody really knew what was going on. And I was surprised to see that a lot of the guys didn't have a lot of balls in their basket. So it felt good. Well, I guess we know Madeline won. Congratulations. Now let's go through the others. Angus, three red balls and two yellow. 17 points. Not bad. Not good. Oh. Alex, what do we got here? Seven yellow and four red. 27. Sounds pretty good to me. Yes. And David, our winner of the last contest. Six. Six yellow balls. If I were to do something differently, it would definitely be just making sure that I would have gotten the higher point balls instead of just getting the yellow ones. I think if I just remembered that, I still would be in the top three. Guess we'll unhook you and you'll be going for a walk. I didn't really look at the other competitors, see how they were doing and stuff. I just wanted to focus on myself. After a lot of time went by and I knew that I wasn't like at the top of my game, I just, you know what, I just, I just gave up basically. David's done. Those three are coming to me. Congratulations, guys. It's time to go on to the next step. I don't have any idea what's coming up next. If I do have any idea, I'm going to try and work on that because I was not prepared for these and I got to work. Come on, let's fall in. From five to three, y'all got a fighting chance. You're as prepped as I can make you. But remember, Sometimes it's not about how hard you train. It might just come down to the will to win. And luck doesn't hurt either. Now go on, get out of here. Have fun. Through these past two challenges, I've learned that slow and steady can win the race, but you do have to be quick. Just be smart and fast. I'm not really sure what the final event's going to be. I'm thinking it involves water, but it's gonna be a surprise to all of us. <laughs> Welcome to the Gorge and my final challenge. This is the Adrenaline Project's playground for today. Now, your first challenge, cargo. You learned about focus, balance, and upper body strength. Your second challenge, resistance is futile. You learned to work with the rope and the harness. Well, guess what? All of that's gonna come into play today. So do you guys think you're ready for this? We're ready. We're ready. You know what, I don't think you guys are ready for this. Check this out. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Welcome to our version of the zip line. Now, not only are you guys up against each other, you're also up against the force of gravity. You're gonna burst through those trees, get to the middle of the line, and then from there, descend down another line. On that line, you'll have a series of flags that subtract seconds from your final time. It's a timed event. You only have so much time to get this done. And of course, whoever has less time is the big winner. So Madeline, since you won the last event, 
Who goes first? Um, I'm gonna have to say Angus. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. You told me you're ready for this, Angus. Are you ready for this? Uh, yeah. Are you gonna take this final yes. challenge? Yes. All right, let's take okay. this in. Follow me. Luck. Luck. No, I've never jumped off anything this high before. I'm pretty stoked, actually, but uh, looking kind of high. I'm ready for this. I might be lying to myself, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm ready. Go! Running up to uh, the edge of a cliff is kind of scary, so I kind of took it a little slow. I didn't quite get the speed that would have carried me the whole way quick enough. Touchdown! Nice job, Angus, nice job! Come on up! All right, Angus's time was 1.15. Angus managed to get all three flags, which changed quite a bit of time off his actual time, leaving it to 45 seconds. That's what you guys have got to beat. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Alex, you're up next. Let's do it. All right, see ya. Just watching Angus go, he was jerking a little too much on the way down. He should have just gone a little more smoother. It would have saved him a few seconds. So I think if I do that, I can beat his time. Congratulations, oh, did a great thanks. job. Oh, man. How do you feel? That was insane. All right, let's see how Alex does. One, two, three, go! Ah! Ooh, nice squeal! Very macho! He's got the hang of it. Did you hear that scream? Yeah, that was, I didn't scream. You got it! Nice work! Keep on moving! Keep going, Alex! You're almost there! I can't get down. It's stuck. <laughs> I touched it. Alex, both feet! All right, you're down. Good job. Bring it up. Let's see what you got. Nice job, Mr. I'm Afraid of Heights. I was just running, and I, you couldn't see anything. And then all of a sudden, when it was too late to turn back, I saw the ground. And I, oh. uh, I couldn't help but notice the little squeal in the beginning. What was uh, that, that all about? That wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't you? It was the inner you? Uh, yeah. OK, so how do you think you did? Uh, I hope I did okay. You firmly had your foot down at 112. Yeah. And you got all three flags. So that takes away 30 seconds, which puts you down to 42 seconds. Sorry. Angus, I'm sorry. I felt I did pretty well for myself, but you know, I, I knew I could have gone faster because it was some obvious setbacks. I'll try harder if the opportunity arises another time. All right, well, Angus is out of here. That leaves you know who. Step up, let's see what you got. I think Alex got a really good time. And after seeing him go, I'm a little more intimidated. And I think I made a mistake who I picked first. Madeline, are you ready? Yeah. Go! All right, Madeline, nice takeoff. Show us what you got. Oh, this looks bad. This looks really bad. Madeline, unhook yourself! Get off there, you're running out of time! Oh. Getting stuck was kind of a shock to me. I wasn't really sure what was going on until I tried to go down, but realized I wasn't moving at all. When I dropped, it was kind of scary, but I knew that the rope had me. Let's go! Faster, faster! Touchdown! Nice job! Nice job. A little tricky, though. A little yeah. tricky. Good job. Good effort, Madeline. Good effort. How do you think you did? Terrible. Your time was 1.13, which means you're out of here. Thanks. If I had to do it all over again, I think I would have taken it a lot slower and not really jump into it. I guess I was intimidated how well Alex had done, so I really just wanted to do it quickly. I think Alex deserves it. He won. Congrats to him. 
believe it or not, but I believe it. You took the cake. You're yep. our ultimate adrenaline. Congratulations. Thanks. How do, you, how do you think you did that? Uh, I guess I did it amazing. Amazing indeed. You start out slowly coming in third by staying out of the water in cargo. And against everyone else in resistance is futile. You came in second to Madeline's superior strategy. Oh, that was a nice fall! But it was on the zip line where you made your actions count. <laughs> I gotta congratulate you. Thanks. You're our ultimate adrenaline.